Hey, hey, we're here with another exciting, awesome, amazing video. Recompostinator 2019. No revisions from the 2017 model. In fact, it was just stored last year. We didn't actually use it. But we have a ton of compost to actually get rid of. For those of you not familiar with the awesomeness of the Recompostinator, long story short, <clears throat> it's a trash-picked mower that doesn't really have any resale value. Uh, that's high in the front, low in the rear. So I run a little bit more oil in the crankcase because it does constantly run out of slope. It's got an entry point for compost, stuff that's already sat once. So it's a recompostinator. It takes what's there and regrinds it into finer bits and spreads it into a bin. We use these sheets of little plywood here, OSB, whatever, to keep it contained into the bin here. But you shovel it in the front. We've got a little safety cage that goes over the handlebars over here to keep things safe and it spreads it in the back as a nice fine aerial mist. Now we just received over an inch of rain, so everything's already really wet, but we can bring a watering can. We've got a you know big bin over here where we can scoop up water and make sure it's wet as it's reapplied. And the theory would be is that you only need about two trips through the recompostinator and you'll have compost. So um, we're gonna show you some video now of us running the awesomeness of the recompostinator. I have plans in the works for another one, things like uh, sunflower stalks, trees and branches, whatever. So it would have more of a top entry feature, but we also need to keep safety in mind when we do that. But anyway, here's recompostinator number one, doing some hard work. All right, so you got to see some awesome footage of the recompostinator. It's really more about the operator in terms of its function. Like this is really wet stuff. It like sticking under the deck. In fact, we had to stop about three or four times to kind of clear out the mess underneath. But once you figure out how to feed it into the blade, don't get scared of putting the shovel under there and letting the blade take it off and throw it back here. And so what you get left with, which you've seen in prior videos is, is this stuff. Look at that. You know, that was this stuff, which isn't bad, right? This is compost to begin with, but it's got long strands and stuff. and. Uh, wood shavings and chicken poop and stuff like that so um, it does a really good job making this great we'll monitor the temperature of this stuff no doubt it's going to be really hot it's going to cook nice and we'll have some good stuff for our garden so if you have any questions on the recompostinator um, <clears throat> feel free uh, to ask them comments are great we did try to you know see, do safety on this one here and subscribe to my channel uh, turbo 231 and I might put this on Red Barn Homestead just because it's a homesteady thing too. So uh, we got that going for us. So, all right, guys, you have a good day.